um, iMovie. Art Rage um, is great for demonstrating art making um, techniques. Art Rage works exactly like art materials. If you put down a bunch of red dots on your paper in watercolor and you paint over it with yellow, it blends it and bleeds it just like it would um, on a piece of paper. Um, so you can even you know, use that to demonstrate a, a theoretic technique and not even have to get out the art materials. Um, Pixelmator is what I said I added on there that's similar to Photoshop. I know zero about it. It's a middle school program, but I figured when I was reading about great art apps to add onto your iPads, I, I figured everybody wants something that's like Photoshop. That's as close as you can get. Um, and it's, it was a paid app, so I think you're going to enjoy having that on there. Um, Artsonia, um, I'll talk about that if we have time later, just kind of show you how that works. But I'm getting more and more enamored with Artsonia. Um, I used to have my students, after they finished an artwork, they would say, oh, I'm done now, what do I do next? And I just had a poster up there that said, write your artist statement. They had to write that on the back. Now you can write it right in Artsonia. And then they would get an iPad out of the um, cart, and they would take their artwork and photograph it. And now it's all, all of a sudden on my iPad. And I can go home that night and grade from my iPad. They crop it. Uh, I can download that artwork for um, an art show. You can download a high-res um, image. And they don't need any permissions to do that. They, all of our students have internet permission forms. Even if it's not marked in focus, they have to have an internet permission form in order to take a test online. Um, so if you have any doubts, go to your DMT your, in your office and say, you know, I've got this student you know, or I want to use this with the students, can you check to make sure everybody has an internet usage form? Um, and that's all you need for them to be able to upload their artwork, and it won't show online. Now, the part about showing online is a different matter altogether. That's where you do need permissions, but you can use this as a portfolio. You can use Artsonia as a portfolio tool, and you don't have to have any permissions except that internet permission form, which every student should have unless they're a Mormon or something like that, and they're not allowed to use technology. And there are a few students in the county, but it would be rare that you would have one in your classroom.